Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to specify a reference factor level in a linear regression in the R programming language. So in the video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with lines 2 to 7 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that a new data frame object appears at the top right of RStudio and we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data frame object and then you can see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data and as you can see our data consists of 1000 rows and two columns x and y whereby the column x is a factor and the column y is a numeric column. So now let's assume that we want to build a linear model based on our data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line 9 so if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a new output is created, which is showing the summary of our linear model that we have estimated before. So as you can see here in the output, you can see all the estimates for the categories of our variable x. And as you can see, you can see only the estimates for the category 2, 3, 4 and 5. But for the first category, the category 1, you don't see any estimates. And this is because the first category was by default specified as a reference category. So depending on your specific data situation, you might want to specify the reference category by yourself. And this is what I'm going to show you in the example of this video. So if you want to do that, you have to re-level the factor levels of your data. And this is what we are doing in line 11 of the code. So in line 11 of the code, we are using the re-level function to specify for our variable x, the reference category. And in this case, we are specifying the reference category to be equal to 2. Yeah, and then we are storing this re-leveled factor in our data frame in the column x. So if you run this line of code, your data will be updated. And now if we run exactly the same code as we already did in line 9, then you can see that now the output of the linear regression is showing estimates for category 1 instead of category 2. And again, this is because now the reference category is the category 2 instead of the category 1. So this is basically how to specify a reference category in a linear regression model in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.